Hello there, I just have a few URLs I've got here now. Um, most of them are EXEs, and then I have two image exploits, JPEG or GIF, and I don't know how those are going to go. So, I'm going to try this for a sec. Right here. So, so the analysis has been complete. It might be safe to install this application. And if we look at the file insight, um, you can take a look at what you think, and it shows you where it came from. I'm going to remove the file from the system. Take a look at my second one here. Having a little trouble with the mouse pad. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to move to this. And so you are one of the very first Norton users to download this file so they recommend uh, removing it or at least stopping it again um, I'm gonna remove it because I, I know that it's not very good I'm gonna try this one it doesn't seem like um, it's actually detecting any files. It seems like none of these are in its detection database base, yet it's not, um, it's at least giving me a warning about them because it hasn't, it doesn't recognize them. Um, I can just tell by looking at the file and where it came from that it's no good. Um, but it's nice to give you a recommendation that it's not, it's potentially not safe. So again they're they're not sure about this file. So they recommend stopping it. I'm going to remove it again. And there's no signature available for that. Um, I'm going to give this next one a try here. Norton gives me the same warning here. Uh, it might be safe to install this. I'm going to remove it again because I happen to know that I don't want this file. Um, I'm going to see about this image. I believe it's an image exploit, this picture here. Um, or it has some kind of code in it. But it seems to be going rather slow. Um, I'm going to 
try this next one here. Oh, so it blocked an attempt to attack the computer. If we view details here, it should say, yeah, it blocked the intrusion attempt by a suspicious executable image download. So, that's cool. It has a lot more protection and stuff like that. Okay, whatever. That was not valid. And I'll just check this here. This next file, we'll see what happens. It doesn't know about this file either. Um, I'm going to remove it again. Let me make sure that the virus database is actually working. Because it hasn't detected anything. That's a little surprising. I'm just going to throw at it a, uh, a test file that is detected by all antiviruses. Um, it's not necessarily dangerous. It's just to make sure it's working. So, if I run this, huh, it should really be t detecting something like ICAR. Um, let me make sure that I actually have this. It's turned on, the antivirus, the anti-spyware. I have the, uh, all of that on. Um, low risks, it's asking me. Uh, exclusions. So this ICAR file. Um, there's no signature available. It's not trusted in terms of their file, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, let me make sure that it's actually... Let me check my settings here. Um, Real-time protection is on. Um, let me see what happens if I turn this on. I'm just going to try one more, one of those. And I'm running this on uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, by the way, on this virtual machine. Whoops. Um, and I'm not feeling any slowdowns or anything like that. So, it, it to me feels like it's a pretty good light application. If I take a look at my task manager here, and take a look at the processes, um, so it's using only about 12 megabytes of RAM, which is pretty good. So, that couldn't find the server. I'm going to do this last one because I know it worked. So, it just doesn't seem to have any of these files in its database. Um, so... I guess there's nothing I can say. It seems like it blocks it until it gets an idea of whether you want to install it or not, which is pretty cool. So I give it, I give it a good rating. I, I like it, everything except the interface. I think that's my only problem with it, and it's not that bad. And who knows, it could easily improve with newer versions. Thanks for watching.